I would like to talk to you today about a concept called secondary gain. So stick around if you want to learn more. I'm Connie Jo Holmes, the founder of BU to be Full Hypnosis and Coaching. My mission is in my company name. I teach individuals how to wholly be authentic so that they can live a very fulfilled life. And a way I do that is I teach individuals how to confidently and courageously move from reacting to life to owning your life. And to me, when you can understand the concept of secondary gain, identify where you might be doing this in your life and choosing to stop doing that is a great way to learn how to own your life. So first of all, if you are new here, welcome very much to my channel. I'm glad that you're here. And please check out some of my other videos because all of my videos, they're all a little bit different, but at the end of the day, the purpose of them is to introduce new concepts, new ideas. They might not be new, <laughs> but you know, different concepts and different ideas uh, in a way to make you kind of stop and take pause and see if this is something that you can incorporate into your life so that you can step in and become the best version of you that you desire to be. And if you um, are a loyal follower here, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. So thank you for being back. Okay, so secondary gain. I'm going to tell you, this concept is a little bit of a mind boggle. When I first learned of it, it it was, um, I understood it right away, but it was also confusing to me. It's one of those that you have to stop and really think about because you're like, why would someone choose a secondary gain? But when you think about it, there's many reasons why they might. So what a secondary gain is, is it is when your perceived gain is greater than resolving your original challenge. Okay, so your perceived gain, secondary gain, is greater, equal to or greater than solving your original challenge. All right. So an example of that is, so therefore, I should say, so therefore, since that person is perceiving that there's a benefit to having this challenge, then they never get rid of that challenge. Okay. So, and then I, I challenge you to think about this in regards to yourself. Where in your life are you maybe choosing a secondary gain that you're not even aware of until you learn about this concept, but also where in your life are you going to look around and you can see secondary gain in so many other people? It's really quite amazing. So uh, this is a completely made up example um, that I'm going to give you off the top of my head um, about secondary gain just to bring it to life a little bit. I am going to talk about anxiety and panic, but please do not let that make you believe that secondary gain is only related to anxiety and panic because it's not. It's just the example I'm using right now. Um, and being maybe a little bit over the top to really prove a point here. Okay, so made up story. I am working a nine to five job and they tell me one day with really no notice um, that mandatory overtime that night is required. And I, even though I don't want to do it and all those kind of things, I really feel like I have no choice. So I go about and I do this mandatory overtime. Well, it's lasting a little bit longer than what I thought it would. And so I start to have some anxiety because I'm worried about what's going on at home and those types of things. And so my anxiety actually turns into panic. And so the people around me see me having a full-fledged panic attack and they make sure I'm okay, but then they send me home. And then the next day people are talking about it and then they're like, oh, well, we're never going to ask Connie to work overtime again. Well, so because I had this experience and everyone witnessed it, my secondary gain is, hey, as long as I'm always going to have anxiety and panic around working overtime, then I'm never going to be asked to do it again. So that's an example about secondary gain. Okay. Now, there's no details in there about, you know, how to maybe have handled the, the original thing differently. That's not about that. It's really just giving a little bit over the top example about what it is. So, all right. So that's one example. Um, 
Another example of secondary gain, well, you know what, before I get into the example, because I think that's sufficient. So now that you understand what that is, now think about your life and things in your life that maybe your perceived, air quotes, perceived secondary gain is greater than getting over this one issue. Something that just popped into my mind, and this isn't me because I actually love to cook, but okay, are you a person who you're like, oh, I'm just a terrible cook. I, I just can't cook. I just burn everything. So then that means that you're going to go out for dinner all the time or you're going to order in food all the time because, you know, you just can't cook. So that secondary gain is you don't have to learn how to cook because you're always going to order takeout or someone else is going to do the cooking for you. Well, that's a great example of a secondary gain because you're not addressing that first initial problem. And so now, right here, you might sit there and say, yeah, but it serves me and no one's getting hurt in the process, so what does it matter? And you're right, in some cases, it might not matter. But do we really wanna have challenges in our life that really hold us back? I mean, to learn how to cook is actually pretty easy if you want it to be. Um, or maybe you're holding on to an old story Maybe you burned dinner when your mom had to work her own overtime and called you and asked you if you could make dinner and you burned it. And you know, it was kind of like the family story for so long and therefore you've never really tried again. So is what you're holding on to even accurate anymore? So the point of all of this, it's not really about getting into the individual circumstances and all those kind of things. It's really about having you, encouraging you to really look at your life and to say, where do I have secondary gains? And are those gains really gains? Are they really? Or would me correcting this original challenge that I have, would that actually be the gain? So, um, and so now you can also look at people in your life and you're going to be able to quickly identify where they might have some secondary gains as well. And so this video is not intended to, you know, pick on a person or to pick on, you know, what the secondary gains are or what that original problem is or something like that. It's more about to introduce the concept to you and to offer a thought that, you know, maybe to reflect on it a little bit and to decide, you know, are you doing this in your life in any way? Is it really serving you? And whether it is or isn't, is going back and addressing that original challenge that creates that secondary gain, would you actually have a better, more primary gain if you took care of that original challenge that you had? So, all right. I hope that was helpful. Again, it's something to kind of noodle a little bit, right? So, but if this is something that you might um, have a question on, a thought, please put it in the comments because I want to reply to these. Um, but also, if this is an area that you need help with, please go ahead and look in the description box because it is uh, work that I do every day. And you can find me at ConnieJoeHolmes.com. And on my homepage is my uh, link to my Calendly where you can schedule a free 30-minute consultation call. So, all right, take it easy.